uh, but yes, Oaks, what a what a lekker run. Hello, you lot. So just to let you know what we've been up to, um, we've been out and about on on the two. I call them big birthers, and we've invited our friend Peter Bruvera along. Pete's a very experienced rider. He rides the GS Adventure, and we said, okay, it's, it's easy for us to tell everybody what we think about motorcycles and tires and things like that. But Pete, how about you join us? And Pete knows the area intimately. And he said, well, okay, I'll be your tour guide for the day as long as I get a ride on each bike. Is that more or less correct? Absolutely, yeah. So really cool. And nice to see you, mate. Obviously, um, Vakastrum has gone to sleep with this pandemic going on. And, uh, yeah, we've been very spoiled. The roads are quite short and beautiful. You've never ridden out here before. Yeah, right? first time. Like that. It's, it's unbelievable. It's God's country. Such a, and mm. and Vakastrum is also, they're in the running for town of the year. Am I right? Correct, yes. So uh, where do they go and vote for all of that? Uh, in two weeks' time, I think it's uh, on the... CakeNet website where yep. you have to, and you can do 30 SMSs per person. There we go. So, CakeNet website, go and vote for Back to School. CakeNet program is Quella. 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 TV program. Yeah. Yeah. Quella TV program. So, it's the yeah. time of the year. So, now, a bunch of more important things. Pete, um, you've written all sorts, and every time you see we do a launch, you phone me and say, hey, Glenn, what did you think of this bike? Well, so, eventually, I said, well, I'll make you a deal. We'll bring the bikes to you and get your opinion. Tell us what you think of the Super Adventure. Absolutely love this bike. I have to tell you, it's big. It's probably the, a bit too big for me. But once you, once, once it keeps, uh, gets rolling, it is absolutely phenomenal. Suspension is top notch, next, next level. Yeah. It soaks up everything, all the ruts and everything, and I am just super impressed. With this and bike. this isn't the R. We need yeah. to make it clear. This is just the super adventure, which is more what Katie calls the more softer adventure. Soft so, adventure yeah. road bike. Yeah. So yeah. the R is it hasn't got the electronic suspension and all of that. The electronics always overwhelm me. Tell me what your thoughts are. I thought they perfect. I mean, Sean set up the suspension for me, and after that, it was like there was no wandering of the front or anything whatsoever. All the ruts, it was no problem at all. Uh, you can go really, really fast on a sand road with this bike. I'm very, very impressed with it. And this is the first time you've ridden BMW's rendition with the new engine? Yes. Okay, so so Pete's got the air-cooled GS Adventure over there. Just have a look there. Which I've spent most of the time on today. He wouldn't let me get off it. Um, and, and that's a fine motorcycle for what we're doing today. Tell me what you thought about the R1250 GS. The R1250 GS is... It's my first choice, uh, and I'm not being biased yet because I am a GS fan. But look I'm at the not. size of him, let's be reasonable, social distancing, yeah. look at the size. Okay, so yeah. that, that would be a big consideration. For what I do every day on, on sand roads, the suspension is good enough. It's not as good as the KTM. It's good enough for me. It's a huge upgrade from the older model, model which I ride. It's good enough for me, and the power is awesome. It's a very comfortable bike. For me, it's the most comfortable of the three of these bikes. And it suits me, I'm a small guy, it fits me perfectly. So yes, the GS for me, number one. Okay, tell me a little bit about the Africa Twin. You've only spent a very short time on it. You've ridden the previous edition, have you? Yeah. And this is the first time that you've ridden the 1100. Yes. Pete, we always talk about value for money. That is the most cost-effective adventure bike on the market. Opinion, please. Africa Twin, looks-wise, it's the best looking bike for sure. Um, and if you are more of a hardcore adventure rider, I think that's the bike to go with. It, it is, it's, it's perfect. I've battled a little bit to grab the seat with my legs, which, meant, which means that I'm going to get a little bit of arm pump. But apart from that, it is a fantastic bike. Absolutely fantastic. Value for money, number one choice. Brilliant, excellent. Now, guys, you've both ridden with the new tires from BAT. Now, please also bear in mind, we are what we would call a normal adventure rider. Guys, we haven't gone and ridden rocks and slippery rivers and all this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, just check what the mileage is on that thing, Sean. Let's see how many kilometers we've done today. So yesterday was very much a tarmac day. And today we're doing mostly gravel. And, and the roads around here are, when we started, it's, it's hard packed under with big marbles on top. It was actually a little bit unpleasant, you know, just to try and pull off and turn motorbikes around for photos and stuff like that. Then it gets slightly better as you hit Natal. Is that the right yeah, thing? Correct. Or is it the other way around? From, so Pumalanga is hard packed with lots of marbles. Then Natal is smooth, almost like a tar surface. And then as we've been mixing up, we've had a variety of everything yeah. from, from sandy, sandy traps to loose gravel to you name it. And it's been a perfect test, in my opinion, for this new rubber. Sean, 
opinion piece. How many clicks have we done now? About, What's on there? about 100 or so for today. So, so we've done 100 fast gravel road, is that right? Yeah. Not, not even fast, just normal touring gravel. Quick opinion on the new back road. I love it. Okay. I'm not actually, I'm, I'm not being biased, I'm not uh, sucking up to the to the manufacturers or anything like that. Uh, once I had the KTM dialed in properly, I mean, uh, once I had the suspension set up, the traction control set up, the throttle response set up, once all that was set up properly, I was doing things on this rubber and on this bike that I'd never do on another bike. I was able to hold it faster through corners. I was hitting some corners at 100 k's an hour, which I would never do on another bike. And the traction control light was flashing all over the place. And these tires, these tires did it. But it's got a lot to do with the bike. So, so it's a, it's was there to... anything untoward? So. I'm going to say this as well. So we've got that bike is shod with the, the Dunlop missions. It mm. feels great along here. Can you feel any difference between, say, those tyres and these tyres? And I think that that's got Bridgestones on it. If no, this has got uh, Carew Streets. The Carew Streets, okay. Which are nearly finished. Yeah, no, the back one especially is pretty yeah. good on that. But, guys, are we suitably impressed? What, what's your take on this? You've never... And, I, okay, I'm going to tell you straight. I thought to myself when I was told, hey, we're going to go and test back. Okay, it's not a mainline brand, it's not like Michelin, Metzler, whatever, okay, uh, Pirelli, uh, or even Dunlop. And I thought, jeez, we're going to go and fit a relatively small brand tyre onto some of the most powerful adventure bikes on the market. Am I right? Yeah. And I thought to myself, is that a good idea? And we thought, okay, well, let's do it. We did a little bit of ginger riding to start with. Yesterday, as I said, 250 odd k's an hour, 220 odd k's an hour, steady as a rock. Yeah. Gravel, remember it's not a big knobbly tyre. This is mostly road tyre, 70 30. I, I'm impressed. I haven't felt anything. I, 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 found it, I found it really stable in the corners. Yeah. Uh, on, on fast tyre sections, the long sweeping bends where I was doing on the wrong side of 200 of this uh, for quite a bit. Going into corners, even as the, a lot of the corners tighten in on you, yeah. and the 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 the, the tires held. There was nothing that felt like it wanted to loosen up or, get, or slip out from underneath me or give me any reason to back off. It actually encouraged me to hit the corners hit harder the corners. and get faster. Pete, and the same thing on the dirt. Your opinion, dirt? Look, <clears throat> I do a lot of tar traveling and I do a lot of travel, so I'm always looking for a good fifty fifty. When I looked at the jet packing this morning, I had my reservations about the. Uh, being at a 750 or whatever they call it. Because the blocks are quite big, huh? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. But I can tell you that after the ride on the sand here, and especially the first part of the ride that we had, a the marbles. It was hor marbles a horrible ride. It was that millions of marbles. Yeah. I've got absolutely, I'm super impressed. I would say it's more of a 50 50 than it is a 750. And, uh, I'm not going to disagree with you. Yeah, yeah I felt good in both. I'll go 60 40. Yeah. And for, there's, there's good and for the amount of gravel that I do, I would yeah. easily, easily put it to my bike. So, so there you have it. That, that's just our opinion on three great motorcycles. Yeah. And then, of course, the new the new back rubber, it's called the Tour Master. Back Tour Master. Back Tour Master. Guys, it is a very cost effective option. Um, and like I said, there's always that little niggly bit in your head. Good quip is deep quip. Yep. But we are very impressed. So, so well done. Can I just say, I've ridden 750s before. Yeah. And I don't like them, mm -hmm. on the gravel especially. Mm -hmm. There's always a moment. Yeah. Some, uh, I've had no moments where they were watching there. That's and why we, I. And I we think, haven't slouched today, eh? Hey? That's why I think this is more of a 50 50 than it is a 750. Mm -hmm. It's the best 750 that I've ever ridden. Well, that's, if you, if, uh, Stephen, if you just come down to the tire here, the reason for that is because yeah. of the wider group. So your normal 7030s have got narrow yes. grooves. So if you come over and look here, this is a proper 7030 tire. You look how narrow that groove is compared to how narrow that groove is, how wide that groove is. So that's giving you better off-road off -road traction. Yes. And then with the big block on it, uh, at uh, high speed on top, it's just, it's just the best of both worlds. I mean, we had to make U-turns on those marbles 100 yeah. times. Yeah. 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 Not a problem. Because the photographer is a fussy ass. Yeah. You want another photo? You want another photo? You want me on the back wheel this time? You want me on the on the front wheel? Okay, I'll do it for you, no problem. Yeah, that, that's Stefan. He's behind the camera. I'll show you a photo of him now. But guys, what a lucky day! And yeah, Pete, thanks for the day. cool ride. I know you've got to rush off now. We're going to start heading back to the big smoke. Um, but yeah, guys, the the back tire is definitely worth a look. Go and go and try it out. We we have we have absolutely no complaints. It's been great. Well,
after this rider, if they, when, when you bring them in size for my bike, I can probably get fitted to my bike down there until that 2 million brick. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, Tristan asked me the thing this week, Dad, would you fit a back tire to your bike? And I said, yes, after riding them, yes, we put them to the test. Yeah. That's what our job is as, as yeah. a consumer. And like I said yesterday, if they were crap, I would say never. And, and we would probably not even publish the story about it because anything that's unsafe on motorcycles becomes a problem. But yeah. Oaks, I, I am, there are so many great tires out there. Yeah. Let's not knock any other brand. Yeah. But this is a newcomer that is a little bit more cost effective and I'm blown away. That's yeah. what I'm Maybe we can also add that we didn't check the, the tire pressures and we didn't deflate them for gravel no, road. No, no, no. They're them I mean, normal. Yeah. Standard Absolutely pressures fantastic. on car, yeah. dirt. Yeah. And we haven't, we haven't slouched. As and we did, a, we, did, we did a little bit of, uh, for, for a photograph for Stefan, yeah. we did a little bit of uh, rock hopping, not huge. Yeah. Um, and we got traction on rocks, uh, climbing over rocks. And I don't rocks. like rock hopping on these big bikes. That's because you've got short legs. No. And weak arms and stuff. So, yeah. And I'm not good enough. That's right. <laughs> but guys, Lacquer, you can read all about it in the next issue. Of Dirt and Trail magazine and lucky to have you on. Thank you for inviting sure. me. I had such a fantastic morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to see you.